Hi, I'm I'm Joe Delvecchio. Um, I, I was asked by Jack and Katie to help them with their with their video project for class. Um, when when Jack came to me with the idea, I thought it was you know really interesting to you know go ghost ghost hunting. Um, I I didn't think everything would would, would go this far. Um. I, I was, I, I was supposed to be there that night with them, and it, I, I, I wasn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. And so, so in any way, um, I have, you know, the investigation finished, and and the police gave me the SD card from from Jack's camera from that night. Um, I, I I did some work, and I got the got the footage to you know come back. I uncorrupted it, and yeah, I I decided that you know I haven't watched any of it yet. I just know it, it it's there, but I'm gonna you know do my best to finish what they started and you know complete this project for jack and katie um so so this is jack this is for you i i hope it's as it's as good as you wanted it to be My name is Jack, and I'm a senior media and journalism student in the telecommunications track at Bloomsburg University of Pennsylvania. I am the videographer and co-video editor of the documentary Ned. Um, Ned is a documentary on a legend that there is a ghost that is haunting the Haas Center on campus. Um, I first found out about Ned from a BUNOW article from um, October 2011 that described, um, described it as um, in the 1970s there was a dance group that came to Bloomsburg University that was known for um, performing black magic. While they were there, they held a seance where they lifted Ned's spirit up um, and ever since his spirit has been roaming around the building. Um, personally, I have had no encounters with ghosts, and I don't want to have any encounters with ghosts, honestly. So I am not very excited about this documentary. Honestly, kind of scared going into it. Um, I just got to keep that mindset that, you know, it's, it's just not real. It's probably not real. Like, there's probably nothing in there. Um... On this uh, project, I'm working with Katie Rose and uh, Joseph Delavecchio. Um, Katie will be the main person um, narrating, and Joe will be more of a producer-director of the documentary project. Um, we are going to wait at least a few days or a week to start working on the project to see if my, if my voice comes back so that we can actually film. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy our process of trying to see if Ned is real. Perfect. Hi, my name is Jack. I'm Katie. And this is the behind the scenes of Ned. Ned, our favorite, favorite man. Come with us to see us finding if, it, if it's real. I love Ned. Come on, please be real. Please be real, baby. 
on. Stay Starting the script today. Stay tuned. What are you, what are you doing? Dude, what the fuck? Go to see Rumka, forget the lock. Hey, what? Like, come on. Come on, Ned loved Rumgo. <laughs> come on, this, this is, is we have Ned. so much come work on, to do. This is hey, due Ned. on Monday. Me and your dog, Rumgo, let's go. Oh my God. We have to get him to appear to us, come on. He'll come to Rumgo, who doesn't love a dog? Oh my God. Fine, I'll get down. We're gonna record. Let's do it. <laughs> Are you ready? One sec. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Let me know when to start. Okay, I'm recording. Whenever you're ready. Okay. This is Bloomsburg University of Pennsylvania. It sits atop a hill in Columbia County. Bloomsburg is the only town in Pennsylvania there are over sh shit. Should I? Should we just, record? Just, just restart. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this is Bloomsburg University of Pennsylvania. It sits atop a hill, overlooking the town of Bloomsburg, in Columbia County. The town of Bloomsburg is the only town in the state of Pennsylvania. The university has more than 8,000 students enrolled in total. Bloomsburg University has existed for 183 years and it was originally the Bloomsburg Academy. Many believe that certain buildings on this campus are haunted and the Haas Center for the Arts is one of those buildings. The Haas Center was completed in 1967. Inside Haas is Matrani Hall and it seats 1,850 people, and it has a proscenium stage with a full fly loft. In the 1970s, a dance company that supposedly performed black magic went on tour. When the dance company performed at the Hawes Center, they held a seance for Ned, a member of the dance company who passed away years prior. During the performance, Ned's spirit was lifted. However, when the curtains closed and their performance came to an end, Ned's spirit was left behind. To this day, it is said that Ned's spirit still resides in the Haas Center. I am on the hunt to discover the history behind the legend and if the Haas Center is truly haunted. Did that sound okay? Yeah, that sounded good. <sighs> okay. Do you feel good about it? Eh, it's all right, I'm kind of hungry. All right, do you wanna go to care before we get some B-roll? Yeah, let's go get some food at Husky. All right, sounds good. Hi, so I'm Felix. I'm an audio engineering music major here at Bloomsburg University. I'm involved in marching band, percussion ensemble, and a lot of other music things. And, yeah. So yeah, uh, one night I was in the band room practicing my repertoire for my upcoming concert. And I just felt this weird chill go down my spine. You know, I didn't think much of it at first. I kept on practicing for a few hours, like, not really a few hours, a few, maybe a half hour, an hour. And then, so I had the door propped open and like, it was a brick. There was no way that this door could have closed on its own. No shot. And so, I'm, I turn around, I hear, <laughs> and the door is just closed. And the brick is pushed along with it. And so, that started to freak me out. And then as soon as that happened, the sheet music that was on my stand, which was being weighed down by clips that I had on it, just whooshed off, completely off. Like, I don't know how it happened, I don't know why it happened, and then my stand just fell over. So then after that, I just booked it, and I haven't been back since, at least at that time. I only practice during the day now. Hi, my name's Brandon. I was a student from 2015 to uh, 2019 in the theater department. I did uh, acting, I did lighting, I did sound. Uh, I did basically everything that you could imagine here, except for, except for uh, lighting design. But I hung the lights. 
Yeah, I heard the I heard the Ned legend. That that's been passed around every every time a new student comes, I tell about it. I mean, we don't usually use Matrani as much as we used to. I mean, we use Advana, Kraus Theater, which is another haunted theater, by the way, and uh, that one is uh, uh, pretty uh, haunted. But this one, again, I'm not in here too much, so I don't remember it being haunted. But it was very creepy every time we were doing a show here. Uh, we usually did a dance uh, minor concerts here, and I know. One time I was doing a dance matter concert, it was kind of like late, like there was like nobody else here, we were kind of getting lights set up, and I remember like, I kept noticing, I was doing curtains at the time, and I kept noticing, put my head around, I'd see chairs go up and down, and like no one was sitting there, and a the chair would go, whoop, like up and down, it was fucking weird, but, you know, that's only, I mean, I don't know, I could have been necessarily tired, it was long, 12 hour days, so who knows, giving my mind all fucked up, but, I don't know. That's for you to decide. Is it haunted? Probably. The theaters are always haunted. My name is Abby Manns and I am the technical director for Performing Arts Facilities. And I have been here as a staff member since 2013. But prior to that, I was a student here. So I was here from 2004 to 2008. So I've spent a significant amount of time hanging out in this building for sure. I feel like Everybody knows about Ned or has, had, has heard about Ned at, at some point, it, especially if you've been here for a number of years like I have. It's just kind of part of the folklore of being here. So as far as encounters go, I mean, I don't know if there's was necessarily an encounter with Ned. I mean, as a student, it was one of those things that was really ingrained into the culture. So if something weird happened, you'd be like, oh, it's Ned doing whatever. Um, but at that time, it wasn't really like a specific experience that I can recall. Now, when I first started back here as a staff member, I had a weird experience that I can't really explain. So I was down in the basement trying to figure out what was going on with our lighting system, like it wasn't working. So I was down there with um, another staff member trying to fix that problem. And there's a couple light switches down there. Um, one that turns the lights on and off in the main part of the basement. And then the room that we were in, those lights are controlled separately. So we were down there working on the system and then all of a sudden the lights went off in our area and then the area outside of that. But we could see the lights were on in another place. Like it was so weird because it was like, why would they all go off? Because it, the building didn't lose power because the dimmer racks and stuff were still running. It was just, the lights went off and it was just long enough to be like, what is going on? And all of a sudden they all came back on. And he and I, we obviously weren't anywhere near the light switches. And it couldn't have been somebody walking into the basement and turning the lights off because like I said, the room that we were in, those lights are controlled independently of the other switch that somebody walking into the basement would have had access to. Yeah, so that was that was kind of a weird thing. It was interesting. Um, I've had some students that have said they've been in here late at night and, you know, they'll see something or feel something. And I don't not believe them. I, this is a big space and there's a lot of energy in here, I think, just naturally. So, you know, I don't know. There was only one other thing that I can say that was kind of significant. Um, during COVID, we were doing a lot of filming over here just because we weren't able to have live audience and things. So sometimes there would be weird, there was one situation where there was this orb that we captured around. Now, I, it could have been dust, who knows, but it was, it was pretty prominent so that was kind of a weird thing for sure.
The end is near. <laughs> Why don't those flicker? It's like... All right, we just finished our interview with Abby Manns. That means that's the last person we're interviewing. We're going to come back here tonight and Haas. Try to find Ned. You think we're going to find him? Jack? I really hope not. I hope we do. We need a final interview with Ned. Where'd you get all that information from? University archives, duh. Really? Yeah, there's everything on there. Oh my gosh. So many dancers. How are we supposed to know which one Ned was even in? Um, I thought you researched that. No. We're gonna have to look through every dance company in the 70s? I mean, yeah. That's like the whole part of this. I thought we could like show our research journey. Well, look at these guys. They look kind of ghostly. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Jack, do we really need to bring that massive bag? We're going to be in Haas for literally like an hour max. Yes. What if my camera battery dies? If I need to clean it? Like, what if I want to do a really cool gimbal shot of you in the hallway? Like, I need everything, just in case something happens. <laughs> You're nervous, aren't you? No, it's just like, one of us might get hungry, or we might be in there for longer than an hour, or like, maybe worst case scenario, we get locked in there. Like, what are we going to do then? You actually believe that bullshit? Come on. Kind of. It's starting to, like, freak me out a little now that we're actually about to go. And it's not like we could have done this during the daytime. Well, nighttime's better for, you know, the footage. I just, come on. I just don't see the point. Come on. Let's go. Let's go with your massive bag. Let's go. Come on. Oh my God. Let's go. The sooner we do it, the sooner we're out. You know, the less time Ned has to haunt us. Oh my God. If he's even there, like you believe. Everyone else thinks he's there. I mean, I wish he's there, but stop. That's I don't know. disgusting. St stop. Okay, all right, come on, let's go. All right. Here we are. We're outside Haas Center for the Performing Arts. We're about to go in. See if we can find Ned and solve this mystery. Getting the chills just thinking about it. <sighs> Gonna try to get in the back way. Oh, come on. It's not working. It's all right, I'll try another door. <laughs> okay. uh, we tried like every door, Katie. What the fuck do we do? <sighs> we made it out? I don't know. I guess. I mean, it's so fucking late. It's like <sighs> 11. It's so cold. We can come back tomorrow during the day. <laughs> Go so come out during the day? We have, to, we have to get in now. I guess. You want me to like try to call somebody? Uh, who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters? Uh, or a Katie! Whoa! Whoa! Katie! Whoa! Uh, whoa. <sighs> Thank you! Thank you! <sighs> okay, alright, we're in! We're in! We made it! <sighs> wow. Isn't this creepy? I know we're gonna get some awesome footage here. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't this kind of illegal? Well, nothing's illegal when you're solving a mystery. 
let's keep exploring and we might find our way to the auditorium. Or even find something that leads us there, or even to Ned. Hey, did you hear that? What? Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Who do you even think that was? Does the Jared even work this late? Shh, calm down. Sorry. I'm gonna get us caught. Be quieter. Sorry, I'm a nervous eater. Oh, hey. I think that's a practice room. Should try to get in. We can get in. Maybe Ned's practicing in there. Okay, I'm just gonna stay here and keep watch. Hey, Katie, did you hear that? I think I heard something on the hallway. Katie? Come on, Katie, let's go. This isn't funny anymore. Come on, let's, let's just go. Did you really think it was Ned? Yeah. <sighs> Sounds like the Adams family. Thank you. giving me chills. I gotta go put on my jacket. Then we should really get going and stop playing around in here because we have a lot more to film. We gotta make our way all the way to the auditorium. Are you sure? Yeah, we have to go all the way to the auditorium. We don't even know where it is. Alright, alright, you're right, okay. Alright, I'm gonna get my coat on. I knew I'd get cold in here. Do you want any snacks while I have my bag open? Uh, no, I get to the Sorry. I hope we make it in time for cab. I could really use a vodka can after tonight. Hey, did you hear that? Hear what? That noise before? What noise? We, we should get out of here. Huge bag? What? Huge bag? Did you hear that noise? No. Something in the room. There's no one else in here but us. I think we need to go. Did you hear that? Yeah. Weren't we just in there? That's a piano. Yeah, there's nobody else in there. Let's go. Katie? Katie? Fuck. Oh my god. 
God. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're safe in here. Alright, so I just lost Katie and I'm honestly really freaked out. I've been freaked out ever since we got in here. Um I don't know what to say. If you're watching this right now, I probably didn't make it out. Mom, Dad, Paulina, Jude, Juju B. I love you. And I'm sorry. I never should have agreed to this. I'm sorry. I just I just didn't think it would actually be real. update um I still haven't found Katie I I think I'm close to the auditorium I'm not really sure I I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't find her there this isn't funny anymore come on let's go already <sighs> Katie Katie stop <sighs> oh my god Ned Oh my god. Fuck. Oh. 